Hey everyone, it's the Vigilant Christian Mario, and you're here for another edition of New Age Movement Exposed. In today's video, I wanted to talk about my own experience in opening up my third eye. And more specifically, I wanted to make this video to warn people out there who might be trying to do this um, about how dangerous this is spiritually and how deceptive of an experience this is. So if you don't know my background, I'm going to leave the link for you to check out my personal testimony in the description section. Um, I used to be all into Reiki, yoga, meditation. Um, I spent years and years developing what is called the highest state of consciousness, where we become one uh, with the cosmos and we have this enlightenment experience. I mean, when it comes to the New Age, I was deeply, deeply into it. I was a channeler. I was an astrologer. I was into numerology. Um, I basically went head first into this. So I'm going to leave the link for you to check that out in the description section to show you that this isn't just some Christian telling you about the dangers of these things. This is a person who has been through them um, and not only been through them, I was so heavily involved in this stuff that I went around promoting it to all my friends and family members, telling them that they needed to wake up and the world needed to come together. 2012 was around the horizon. It was about a cosmic shift in consciousness and all that new age mumbo jumbo that goes along with with that propaganda. Um, so I, I'm qualified to be talking on this subject because I'm speaking from personal experience. So I would just really hope that for you uh, out there who are looking into this, uh, this, this type of spirituality, that you would really pay attention to what I'm saying here. Um, and you wouldn't just take it as some crazy Christian that just taking the Bible, uh, you know, for its word and, and is ignorant when it comes to spirituality. That's not the case at all. I was probably more heavily involved into spirituality and the New Age movement than you currently are yourself. And from that, I went down the rabbit hole as far as you can go. And now I'm coming back to warn you and tell you that what you think is at the end of that rabbit hole is not what you think. You're going to run in face to face with Satan. He's a real fallen angel who is a master deceiver and he lures you in with this false spirituality. So I wanted to make this video here today to warn you that what you're practicing is actually satanic spirituality. It masquerades as beautiful, loving, light, uh, and, and angelic, but in reality, at its core, it's absolutely rotten and, de and demonic. Um, so this video here today is just to elaborate on that and to show you the depths of the satanic roots of the New Age movement and to talk about it. Now, like I said, I wanted to talk about one of the chakras here today, specifically the third eye chakra. Now, when I was young, I started to look into the New Age and wanted to open up my third eye. If you're a New Age practitioner and this is what you're going into, that's probably one of your desires. You might be right now uh, setting out an intention to open up your third eye and to start receiving uh, the spiritual insight and visions that um, come from the opening of the third eye. Um, so. You know, I, I wanted it, and how I, I started was just a simple meditation practice. So there's a lot of uh, practices that you can find on Google. I warn you, please, they're deceptive. Don't go and get them. Um, but there's a lot of information out there on certain uh, ways that you can open up the third eye. I'm not going to go into too much how that's done, but that's what I was into. And, and it took me a little while. Uh, it didn't happen right off the bat. Um, but after I, I kept on developing my meditation practice and after a lot of concentration uh, and meditation, I was able to successfully open it. So the day that it opened, I'll kind of explain to you the situation. I was into a heavy state of meditation at the time. And what I was doing is essentially you're looking on, uh, you're looking internally. It's as if you're looking at a screen that's within your own self. So it's kind of like you're looking inside of yourself when you start looking in uh, in that meditative way. And what happened is I remember there was a kind of pop, a cracking sound. And this is very common. Other people who have opened up their third eye have also reported um, even smells, uh, cracking, certain sounds, feelings um, when it opens. And what happened is it opened up and as I'm showing you on your screen here, this is kind of what it looked like for me. I seen like a kaleidoscope of, of uh, imagery that was constantly changing. I saw different 
different worlds, different people, different beings, all sorts of stuff. Very abstract and hard to really piece together because what we've what you're doing when you open up the third eye is you're opening yourself up to the spiritual dimension. And I'm going to tell you why that's bad right now in this current state a little later, but that's what you're doing. So it's a little bit hard to grasp what it is that you're seeing in this. And I remember being completely blown away by the experience. I couldn't believe that I could look within myself and see this and start receiving messages from what I believed were spirit guides at the time uh, who would give me visions through the third eye in order to communicate to me. So then... Uh, from that moment on, I was able to have extreme visions and extreme uh, connection to my quote-unquote spirit guides. Now, I'll just pause right here momentarily to tell you I was in contact with over 30 spirit beings. I called them the Ascended Masters, uh, the... Um, uh, the archangels were other ones, and uh, whatever form that these beings took, uh, you know, they, I had a lot of them. I, I would just befriend them and ask them to guide my life and help me. Um, and just to point out, those are demons. Those are not spirit guides. A lot of people are into uh, contacting their dead relatives, contacting uh, ascended masters, supposedly, who have went through the karmic process and now have ascended. They, they try and communicate with that. And what they think is is they're communicating with those type of beings but in reality they're demons that masquerade themselves as angels of light a trademark of these beings is that they're going to lead you into the knowledge that you are a god now the garden of eden is where that first lie was ever told to humanity that we are like gods uh, so when you have a spiritual being uh, who's leading you and he's leading you into books and and research and knowledge that makes you think that you're a god that's not a good angel that's a demon okay and these uh, beings can appear in the spiritual visions as benevolent, awesome beings of light, but in reality they are actually demonic, and we need to be uh, aware of that, that they have this uh, transformative power that they can transform themselves in order to deceive uh, their victim, okay? And that's what I was susceptible to. And what happened is when I opened up my third eye, I allowed the communication uh, to these beings to, to be made even more clear. Now, why is it that something like the third eye, first of all, is closed? And why is it a bad thing to open it up? Now, the Bible doesn't have a 100% clear um, explanation for that. It's one of the areas that the Bible kind of stays silent on. But I think I have a, a little bit of insight. I'm not saying this is the truth. This is just my opinion. Uh, I believe that in the Garden of Eden, we had all the spiritual power and, and capabilities that the angels had. Um, God was visible to man. Man walked with God. Uh, so we need to recognize that in that state, in the garden, uh, man was on a different plane because he was on the same playing field as God. And it is my belief that God now is separated from us because now we've fallen. We're in third dimensional reality where we're cut off to the higher dimensions. We've been blocked off to those realms. Um, but in the garden, it's very probable and more likely that we were connected fully. Now what happened is at the fall, that was taken away from us. I believe that God closed the third eye. He blocked off the spiritual um, dimension from us. And why? To protect us. Because he knew that if we were accessing the spiritual realm, we could easily run into fallen angels who would deceive us, just like they are going and doing all across the world right now. All these people that are quote-unquote channeling spirits, they're not. They're channeling demons, okay? And the reason that God doesn't want you to open up your third eye is to protect you from these deceiving spirits who are on a higher dimension and a higher intelligence and plane than the person that they're they're victimizing um, so of course God would want to protect you from those uh, beings um, so that is why he's protecting us we've fallen and right now um, it's not a good thing to venture into the spiritual realm because in the spiritual realm are found demons fallen angels angels who are good who are now corrupted and are in rebellion against God so God wanting to protect us has cut that off Okay, because when we open up our third eye, all of a sudden we can really communicate with those spirits, and those are bad spirits. Okay, so God probably knew that ahead of time, so what he did is, in my belief, is that he blocked that off. He didn't allow that. Now, when he's going to remake us, he's going to take us out of these 
physical, mortal, fleshly bodies and, ma and, and transform us and transfigure us into the glorified body that Jesus Christ had after his resurrection, then at that moment I believe that all the spiritual power will be re-given to us, that we'll be able to have the capabilities that people are seeking to get here on earth um, through New Age practices. Because that's what I believe is occurring here, is that these things that the spiritual seeker in the New Age movement is trying to strive for are things that are good in, in a sense. Spirituality is good. We're going to have that, but we're in a fallen world right now. And God has specifically cut that stuff off so that we do not be deceived and that and most importantly we make it to the end of this life to make it to the next kingdom that we allow uh, God to lead us in a way that would bring us uh, to uh, the kingdom of God and that we wouldn't be taken away by uh, these these fallen angels and their deceptions in these days in the dark days in the fallen world that we inhabit right now so uh, that's kind of my take on it it's just that you know it's very important to recognize that God is uh, protecting us he's our father and he's looking to protect us he doesn't want to keep these things away from us um, because he's trying to hold back power that he's trying to keep things away from us uh, that he's selfish he doesn't want us to recognize that we are gods ourselves that is what the Gnostics and the Satanists will teach you that you know just try this this is good look at, look at the knowledge of good and evil it's so good why wouldn't God want you to have a piece of this okay so that's what's being offered through the New Age movement is this same type of spiritual deception and power um, that was given that was deceived that was used to deceive uh, the first man and woman in the garden um, so wrapping up I know that was kind of like a bit of a rant but I just wanted to clarify that we need to be vigilant when it comes to spirituality my new age friend out there please don't just think that the spiritual realm is all good that you can just dive in head first you can connect with any spiritual being it doesn't matter they're all good that there's no way they're telling lies you know you can trust all these spirit beings that's not the case and I made that naive uh, this, or I, I naively believed that back in the day. I just dived right into the New Age movement, got connected with whatever spirit would come my way, not even thinking that anything in the spirit realm could be bad. But the Bible reveals to us that in the spiritual realm right now is an absolute war between God, His angels, and the fallen ones. Um, so we need to recognize that. There are dangerous and demonic forces when we access these realms and this is why God forbids us from contacting the spirits from contacting uh, and opening things like our third eye and having um, you know these type of new age occult type of experiences so please brothers and sisters if you're watching this video and you know someone who uh, is attempting to open up this satanic portal please send this video to them so that we can stop them uh, so that they can have the real spiritual portal open and that is a relationship with Jesus Christ that is the access way into the spiritual dimension that you need to find in your life my spiritual seeker in the new age movement my dear friend that is what your soul is yearning for it will absolutely fulfill you none of this other garbage ever filled me it was only temporary and it was on to the next thing but Jesus Christ came in and he spiritually fulfilled me he said he who is thirsty come on to me and drink and and you'll be filled You'll be full. Um, he, he will quench your, your spiritual thirst. But nothing else absolutely will. So in times where spiritual deceptions are at an all-time high and people are being led astray into opening demonic portals to allow demonic spirits to deceive them, we as believers need to stay 100% vigilant. God bless.